Hello, here is Muho and Ite. Again in Osaka. Last time at the end of the interview we were talking about well what is a Zen master and you said it's a good one and you said somebody who can answer questions of people and you said something that sounded to my ears a little bit like well even if it's not profound even if there's really nothing to it as long as it can help can help the other person it's okay that's how it sounded to me yeah well, and I was reminded of this uh, expression skillful means so uh, one one example for that is uh, there's a crying baby and you give that uh, crying baby a kind of uh, a leaf from a tree and say hey that's money and then the money the baby well the baby wouldn't be happy but a three-year-old oh that's money and, and then they stop crying and well that's sometimes also the job of a priest to to give comfort to people but then probably most people hope for a little bit more than that and probably your intention of coming to Japan and training and Antaiji and Toshoji was not only to be able to give some comfort to other people but you said well the option the other only option is suicide either I commit suicide or I look for the solution to my problem here so the solution to your problem is probably not skillful means and helping other people to somehow cope with their worries of death yeah well <laughs> it should be the case that the solution uh, should be different but uh, like well the well helping people should be the yes well the only and primarily aim in the first place probably mm -hmm. Helping people and only helping people, but even if, if we make it, uh, make it uh, into an aim, mm. uh, like there should be some difference between like giving a leaf and uh, telling that uh, this is money and giving uh, mm. well money, <laughs> real money <laughs> or bitcoins, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, in a way, usual money is also a leaf. It's, uh, it's the only thing. Exactly, that, uh, yeah. exactly. Well, even with bitcoins, you don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> If it has substance, yeah, giving well, giving air to a person that thinks I can't breathe and uh, showing them, wow, well, now you're breathing, so to yeah, speak. Or yeah. the, the metaphor that's often used is you're in the water, like I'm, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, and and you t sh show that person, well, you are the water actually, you are the water that have you you've been looking for. Um, would you say that at least in your case you found? the water or the air that you've been looking for or are you still looking for something more well i i wouldn't say that i'm looking for anything but uh, mm. yeah it doesn't feel like i'm kind of calm about any thing happening uh, at all as mm. well so mm. i'm rather worried about many things mm. but yeah it's uh, significantly better than uh, when I, I just came to Japan to Anteji or mm -hmm. to Toshoji. The things you worry about now is it your personal existence or is it more in the world Kyrgyzstan and 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 the situation in the world what are your worries now mm, it's mostly about my life because uh, mm -hmm. i'm just staying in the monastery and it's very very small amount of occasions to uh, like no news mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and similar things and uh, if you if you know them then it happens that you worry for them and uh, you feel like it's something very very important is happening and you have to do something but then a week or a month and then it's it's mm. kind of gone like probably it's not gone from the existence but it's gone from uh, your personal existence mm -hmm. and uh, i guess if uh, i would stay like in usual community uh, i would have to like answer these things uh, in a better well in a more consistent way mm -hmm. but uh, monastery especially training temple implies that uh, there is very limited amount of these things mm -hmm. so well mm -hmm. whether it's good or bad i don't have a lot of occasions to worry about like things in general mm -hmm. and probably i almost uh, don't worry about like very how would you call it existential matters uh, at all recently I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, whether it's a good thing or not so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
When I talked about, uh, with Mjorgen and asked him, well, and now you're leaving Japan, he wanted to go to India, but then back to Germany. And I think part of the reason is that he wanted to, well, experience, so to speak, real life. In the mm -hmm. monastery, mm -hmm. you're always kind of, in a way, protected. It's a very demanding practice also, but there are lots of things that you don't have to work for. Like, for example, your taxes and paying bills yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Like, and I think Mjorgen said, well, that's, that's actually been missing. I've been seven years or so, eight years, and, and I never filed my taxes and never had to pay my bills. Is that also something that you feel that... Yeah, well, uh, I'm paying my taxes in Japan. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel kind of similar. The things for the, well, the next day is... Uh, well, the problem for the food for the next day and for this day is solved in uh, yeah. in case of staying in Anteji or in case of yeah. staying in Toshoji. And yeah. depending on the on your rank, yeah. uh, you don't have to worry about like things which are happening like in a couple of days. You don't have to do any plans. And uh, also, it feels good. I think it's uh, it kind of. Mm, uh, deprives you from something very essential for like uh, surviving outside of the monastery. So like even uh, well, especially in Japan, the most people wouldn't stay in the monastery for their whole life. Mm -hmm. It's expected that they are done and then they go to their own temples or maybe they are going to just live their normal lives. Mm. And in that case, the yeah the demand uh, from society and from the world would be completely different from that which you can experience in just during just staying in the monastery. Mm. And uh, I would say that I agree uh, with Mjogen on that mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. point. Uh, yeah. So you're looking forward to pay your bills mm. in normal society. <laughs> <laughs> that might be an option. I, I, I wouldn't uh, do my best to avoid it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But there's no concrete plans. Uh, what you want to do in one year or two years? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I have some plans, but they involve uh, other people, so uh, I cannot just disclose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe maybe you can be a guest on my YouTube channel uh, later and then talk about uh, how it worked out. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so you don't want to take uh, like qualification. Normally, like in, in Sotoshu, you ordain, then uh, you do the Hosen Shiki, what's, what you're gonna do mm -hmm. uh, after that. And well, the next step would be Shiho Dharma transmission. Yeah, yeah. But there's no plan for that. I mean, yet. well, especially in Sotoshu, you shouldn't say that there are any plans for that. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you usually yeah. wait. Until yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm kind of kinda waiting and the other thing is that like some some things are well happening uh, mm -hmm. right here uh, well uh, and they require some attention while like uh, aiming for dharma transmission will require for well some long time yes for some extra long time staying in monastery yes, yes. Uh, which is a thing which uh, I would rather consider after solving what's on hands. I see, I see. Like in, in Antaj you're usually told, well, minimum three years, but you don't get Dharma transmission after three years. Usually I said, and also I think the present abbess, Eklosan says, three years is, in a way, it's the start line. After yeah, three yeah, years yeah, you know uh, what actually it means uh, to practice as a monk. I don't know about uh, Toshoji, but I heard that also some people there stayed for 10 years or longer. Than yeah, that. yeah. Mm. So if you really want to go to the monastery, well, you can do the basic minimum Ango training in three months. And I think some people do that, that come from South America or from Europe. But um, if you don't want to do the yeah. minimum, but... Yeah, in, in case of the, those people, they are coming for kind of, well, certification. It's yes. similar to Japanese monks as well. Yes. Uh, and they spend uh, the three months and three months, usually yes. it's a half a year minimum. Yes. Uh, and the point is that they will re probably receive their Dharma transmission from their master who is somewhere in, uh, well, in America, in Europe or wherever they came from. Yes. Uh, 
Yeah, in, in case of people who just want to stay Toshoji up to the level of Dharma transmission, it will probably take a long, long time. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you want to become a Zen master, uh, plan more than three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And well, as you said, you shouldn't start with practice with the idea and in five years I'm going to be a Zen master and I open my, yeah. my group. I mean, it's something that happens as a byproduct. Yeah, I mean, probably. Mm. Well, technically speaking, it's possible to open yeah. your own Zen group at five years, depending on your like mm. abilities and skills. Mm. Uh, but uh, you would do it as an unsui, as an ordained monk, not as a Zen master. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah. also usual, like many people coming to Toshoji are uh, having their own dojos, but they don't have Dhamma transmission yet. Ah, the, I see, yeah. I see. Oh. It's pro it might be slightly different uh, in Western countries, although you're probably aware better than me. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, also in, in Europe and probably in America, there's senseis and roshis. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, you don't have that in Japan. There are no senseis, but you have these intermediate teachers. They are not really dharma transmitted, but they still have their own dojos. But anyway, thank you for coming. Uh, have a good dharma, uh, not dharma transmission, but uh, <laughs> dharma combat. <laughs> Hosen Shiki. Yeah. Hosen Shiki. yeah, thank you for inviting and yeah see you again hope to see you again uh, in the future and thank you for watching yeah, uh, i'm you. looking forward to your comments i'm sorry it's english but uh, i hope you got something even out of an english interview okay see you goodbye